Hi, what's going on everyone? Give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to talk about Chainlink real quick and how we might see a massive crash occur in this cryptocurrency. Now, if that if it happens, I mean, would you be surprised that price in Chainlink continue to go lower? Because we price has gone down ever since. Look at this. The high back in March of 2024. For majority of this year, 2024, price in Chainlink has drifted lower than it has been going higher higher think about that for a moment we're towards we're, we are towards the last ending of 2024 and the price in chain leak has drifted down so to me it wouldn't be a surprise if chain leak was to crash it wouldn't be because that's been the method of operation for this cryptocurrency lower prices so i'm going to break that down today so this is going to be a couple of minutes real quick. If y'all all appreciate my videos and my content, the things that I say, the things that I show you, then make sure you join me for more of this information. Now, I did a price prediction in Chainlink. I keep it a buck here on my channel. I don't want to be one of these run-of-the-mill hype channels just to tell you that everything's going to shoot to the moon and that's not the case because I was looking for Chainlink back in August the 26th for a price to go up and look what happened. It didn't even go up. So again, for us to see a price crash in Chainlink, I wouldn't even be surprised because this market definitely is still trending bearish. So if I take the high from May 28th or 29th, right? You guys can see we topped or we hit that trend on July the 21st, price fell down. We hit that trend line towards the end of August. Price is doing what? Falling down. We even see this sell signal hitting the market as well so yes this price prediction didn't work out and it will happen the problem is for most people is that they hold on to their consensus like their analysis they hold on to it and, and they're unwilling to change their thoughts their thinking the market is clearly telling us that what we thought back in august time frame it was incorrect the market always shows you whether or not you're going to be right whether or not you're going to be wrong and in this situation we were not right so we get rid of it that would be 20 percent down right there and we get right back into position now we may not be 100 percent incorrect because there's still a chance for us to see the market buyers come in right i already have a zone depicted off this chart looking at buyers do you think they're going to show up though that's the question so we got to be predictors forecasters and try to say eh, what's the probability of us seeing these buyers coming into the market in chain league right now there's still a chance but is it a high chance or a low one let's look at chain link on the monthly chart first okay so now the biggest area that we can see buyers hold price is right around here. Okay, right around here. Look at all of these buyers into the market in chain link. So this may be the ultimate low in chain link. Okay, so maybe we might want to create a buy zone here for chain link. Okay, so let's make that a buy zone. Now, let's get back to this monthly bar, though, because we're starting out on a new month in Chainlink. Would you be bullish or bearish? What happened last month? Well, it's pretty much mixed. There was definitely some volatility. Price definitely went down, but buyers came into the market in Chainlink last month and it was able to close price off of the lows not bad not bad take a look at chain link on the five weeks pretty much the same thing here it is on the three though and this is where i'm getting nervous this is where i'm saying price and chain link can continue to go lower will it crash maybe not but can it drift down yeah it can definitely do that but i have to allow the market two days at 13 hours but looking at that current three weekly price bar right there that the arrow is pointing to that is not bullish not at all 
but maybe like i said we're already hitting a buy zone maybe the buyers may become more active reactivate and begin to buy this currency to lift the market off the lows if that happens then maybe we hit the bottom maybe look at chain link on the two weeks again this is where i'm getting nervous like if i was a buyer I will be getting nervous right now because of what I'm seeing on the three weeks and the two weeks time frame. This is not bullish yet. The prior two weeks is bullish. The one that this arrow is pointing to, that's bullish. But for us to come right back down, even lower than the low from the prior two weeks, tells us more that those buyers really didn't convince us. I'm not convinced that the buyers are currently willing to support price in chain link right there around ten dollars i don't i just don't see it yet here it is on the weekly so for us to see price currently trending down now it's off of what happened last week like i said the prior week we got the indication of strength but look what happened the next week we didn't get confirmation and if you don't get confirmation then you already know the prior trend which in this situation is down it is still active okay so I think we may need to target another buy zone. So let me go here and straighten up this area for chain link. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it just like this. Okay. Here's another one. Sound like DJ Khaled, another one. So let me hit this off. Let's get rid of this. And to me, I'm predicting that price is not going to hold this buy zone here. So let me create another price prediction. This will be our first target. This is a very wide area of buyers. Price may bounce off of $9 and go up. Or it may come all the way down here to the low of this buy zone, which is around 18.67%. Either or, one of those areas, high or the low of this buy zone is where I'm targeting for the first target. Okay. Now, as we continue to see price weak or weakness, we're going to create these sell zones too. Okay. And here's another one right here. Now, I'll move this one up here towards 12. So let me get rid of that sell zone. So I'm not looking for price to hold this buy zone into perpetuity. But I'm looking forward to try to come and hit this sell zone. If it doesn't hit that second sell zone, let's hit it for the third. All right, so that's where I'm at right now until something changes until we see more emphasis that buyers really want to hold price at a certain level then we'll change our analysis but as of right now the market is speaking tell me your thoughts make sure you maintain profit and as always trade different